んな小さな目標を狙えるものか How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenwalk channel. Today we're building the high grade Universal Century, the Gundam Mark II, Titan's version. So, I built an RG on uh, Gundam Mark II before. It was a AUG version, and now I got an XG version. Uh, I don't think that's gonna need any comparison because, you know, clearly XG is not gonna be better than RG. But, okay, that's not really important, but, uh, okay. Uh, so, let's just. Let's just start looking at it. So we got some actions showing. Uh, so we got more movements compared to the old version, and um, some markings, gimmick, and weapons. Okay. So now let's just quickly open that. So you know, one, two, three. Oh, three packages. It's not gonna be too much. So you know, quickly flick through the instruction book. So. This is so the prototype mark as uh, unit three, and you know review actions, weapons, uh, a little introduction, color guide, and the markings. And in the instruction manual, uh, they do give you some weapon introduction as well. And um, all right, and you know, I'll just quickly flip through that. Nothing really special. All right, so now let's quickly look at the runners. So this is the D1 runner. Uh, this is the cockpit, the shield, and the head. The D2 runner, so uh, the thrusters, uh, antenna, and torso parts as well. B2 runner, we got some inner frame of the legs and uh, feet and part of the arms. A2 runner, we got the legs, shoulders, feet, and the hands as well. Beam savers, and also A1, exactly the same, uh, but with the uh, with more legs part and the new part of the shield and the head, um, and also some part of the uh, some part of the legs as well. A B1 runner, uh, the the hyper bazooka, the beam rival, the hands option, some shoulder joint and some leg joint, some waist part, um, the the cannons. Oh uh, no, no no, not the cannons. The falcon, the falcon gun on the head, and also some hand joint and some feet as well. And last part, not the last part actually, uh, C part. We got the backpack. Waist part, feet, um, shield, I was out of the shield, uh, torso, thrusters, and backpack, and also some uh, arms unit as well, and the side skirt. And other parts we got, um, we got a marking, marking sheet on uh, which unit you wanted. Uh, we also got a very small sticker, so I assume the color separation is going to be quite good on this one so it seems like everything we need to put on is the sensor on the head and the weapons and this is the clear part for the eyes and polygaps and beam saber effect parts all right that's pretty much it you know uh, i'll see you in the review
Welcome back to the review of the Gundam Mark II Titans version. So this is the finishing of it. Uh, so you know, I would do a RG comparison with the uh, Mark II and other Mark II, and I will do it at the end. But first, I need to say something though. Uh, building this is very quick, and it's actually looking pretty good as well. And some and the joint on this scalper is very tight. It just you know it stabilizes. The Gunpla itself is just a very good job about that, but <coughs> at the same time, it means it's going to be very hard to move around. But you know, I can't deal with that because you know I rather tight than sloppy. I just don't like the Gunpla to be sloppy, but this one is tight enough, so it's good. And uh, you know, as I mentioned at the unboxing, you do have the number unit to choose. I choose to put on a uh, zero two because. I just feel like it. I just don't want to put silver free because this silver free is just too common for uh, anyone to build it. So I decided to put uh, number two on this. So this is unit two. And <clears throat> anyway, I'm getting into the topic now. So, well, let's start with the head. So the head can move up, down, and you know, uh, just just as same as the RG Mark II, uh, just about 75 degrees. That's it. It can't even turn 90 because you know the Headphone, sorry, <laughs> the Falcon gun, not the headphone. Uh, the headphone is blocking. <sighs> okay, anyway, the Falcon gun is blocking in the way, and so that's why the head movement is limited. So the arms could lift up more than ninety degrees. It can it can rotate three hundred and sixty as well. During there's no any interruption. It can bend up uh, one hundred and eighty, and it can, the hand the hand down here can spin around three hundred and sixty as well. The whole arm can rotate three hundred and sixty as well. So you know pretty good movement and um, gotta say though it's pretty tight on the joint so I really like that right next next top out let's talk about the torso so the torso uh, you know don't expect too much but uh, the color separation did do a good job but you know if you build the RG before you will notice the side of the torso will be uh, clear pieces but you know this is an XG so it's a uh, sticker but you know I prefer to have clear parts and the whole Mark II can move the move the torso for about um, 40 degrees uh, front and back, and also it can move around uh, for 75 degrees during the side skirt is interrupting, so that's why you can't move 360. The front skirt is a whole piece that you can move up for 90 degrees. The side skirt you can move up a little bit, and the back skirt, as usual, you cannot move anywhere. But it does have a hidden. A gimmick for you to put the rocket though. It's just you need to pull it out. It's very annoying It just you pull out you pull it out and here's is the spot that you can put the bazooka in Which I will show you later now the legs the legs movement front kick 90 side kick uh, side kick nearly 90 uh, The whole the whole leg can you know move about side to side slightly and uh, the whole leg is able to bend more uh, about 120 and the and the and the ankle the ankle spot here down here is actually a very large uh, movement as well and as well as the feet down here move 360 uh, slightly side to side as well and the armor piece here on the feet is slightly movable as well. It's very tight, so be careful, don't break. Now let's talk about the backpack. The backpack this time, all the thruster are fixed, so you cannot move it. And but the but the uh, backpack, uh, just like the RG version, you can actually slightly move the backpack. So you know it's a very good feature though. And also it does give you the detail of um, the pipe. Although this time you don't have to cut the line, uh, it does give you the pipe on the gunpla itself. It's actually for a HG uh, showing that kind of basic detail uh, is quite good because you know sometimes they just use like a solid piece to replace all the detail but this time they did actually give you some detail of it so you know very glad about that now let's talk about the accessory so first we got a shield we do have another connector for the shield but I wouldn't recommend you use that because that's just in case you can switch around but you know this time the shield you can actually choose between the expanded mode or the or the uh, close mode so the close mode should be look like this in RG version you just basically push down but in XG version you can show that by pass swapping so now if I take out the part just give me a second it's pretty hard to 
Oh, by the way, don't pull it too hard. The red part will be will you will break the red part. Or you can choose to be an extended mold. Uh, here is the, here is a joint that you can put on at the back of the hand. So you know, simply just clip it back at the back of at the back of the hand, and you know, simply the shield will be going on. But this, I must admit though, that this shield is more stabilized than the RG one. The RG one was just always flipped back. And you know that's the point. So here we go. We have a beam rival, a beam rival that is, um, you know, you know, a basic, ba a very basic XG beam rival that doesn't have any kind of separation. But you know, that's fine. And a uh, bazooka as well. So you know, just like the RG one, you just basically flip out the back, and then you can put it on to it. And so you know, let me just quickly flip it out. So if I flip it out and I move the handle to the front, and you know, I can basically just, you know, just. Let me try to clip it on there. Just give me a second. And by the way, this bazooka is more. This bazooka that put on the rail rail skirt is actually more stable than the RG one. The RG one just like flip out every like what every five seconds. It just popped out every five seconds. The HG version is more stabilized. So, you know, I like the HG version of storing the weapons other than RG, but you know, for movement, RG always win. And also, lastly, we got a we got some uh, the beam sabers as well. The beam saber is actually a is actually not that you know it's not actually not that complicated. So in RG you can pull it out, but in XG is a bit difficult to pull out. Uh, you know you can put it on like that, but I must need to say though the R the XG version of the beam saber is very tight and is quite hard to pull it out. So you know if you're gonna pull the beam sabers out, I suggest you. Do it gently, cause you might accidentally broke the joint. Just saying, you know, you know, just be careful about that. So you know, as promised, I said at the beginning of the review, I would do a comparison of between the XG and the uh, RG one. So let's just start the comparison. So first, details. Uh, that, let's get that out of the way. I'm not gonna talk about details, cause this is too com. This this is two different grades, okay? But the other thing we need to compare is the feet first. The RG feet is clearly larger than the XG feet. But um, to be honest, I don't really like the RG feet because it's, it's it's pretty not stable. And then secondly, you can look at the head. The head uh, for the RG version, the head is more is 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 bigger than the XG one. Like you can just you know visually comparing it, the RG head is clearly bigger and. Third, the uh, the Falcon gun. So let's not talk about the colors because you know this is the XG, so we shouldn't be talking about colors. The antenna place is different. Like if you take a close look on the both antennas, this antenna is all the way at the back, and this antenna is straight up. So the antenna's position is different, and you know the shoulders of the RG is larger than the XG. If you ask me which type of shoulder do I like. I would just say to you RG ones because the RG runs the shoulder looks more like a scale it looks better and then for the legs for the legs part uh, we do have uh, for our, the RG for the you know the knees part is you know is slim is slimmer and then for the XG one it seems thicker and you know that just you know, just comparing the sizes and the skirt, and then the skirt armor. I think there's different as well. So the for the RG version is uh, flat and you know barely have edges, but for the XG version is you know it, there's an edge clearly shown here. But you know the RG version is, is more into like uh, round edged, round edged, and this one is you know is still a pretty sharp edge, and you know. And also the waist part here is totally different. The waist part, the top here, you see the top here? The top here is, this is a, this is more a sh in a, you know, a shape. This one is just more round. So it's different. And, you know, look at the, so let's take a quick look of the torso. The torso is basic, basically the same, but, you know, RG and XG got different. The XG version, the torso uh, piece here is actually pretty, you know, pretty just, Basically, just you know, simplify it. But you know, the RG version is clearly shown it. But you know, you you would just say it's just a, it's just the difference between two grades. But you know, I'm just doing a short comparison, and the comparison is um, 
what else can I compare? Let, let's just take a look. Um, and also the if you look close to the hands, I mean the arms, sorry, if you look close to the arms, you can actually see the XG version of the arms is you know is slimmer and then the RG version is more muscular. So the overall is the RG is more muscular than the XG version. Let's flip it to the back and you know do a short comparison. And by the way, the XG version of the the XG version of uh, sorry the RG version of Mark II is actually slightly higher than the XG version. Slightly, okay. And you know let's take a look at the uh, back of it. So the backpack first is completely different. Um, it's not completely different. It's just the shape is different. You know, this one is more mechanic and detailed. This one, you know, is XG, so you can't really you can't really compare those. So let's compare the back skirt. The back skirt of two grades design is totally different. You can take a look. You can take a look at this. So first, this this back skirt is actually smaller. This one is larger. So you know, uh, that's the difference. And also, if you look at the back, if you look at the pipes and the legs construction is actually different so as you can see for the uh, RG version it doesn't have a back piece of the uh, legs to cover it up this uh, for the XG version it does cover it up and also the pipes here yeah this is RG yes I know but the RG version uh, want to be realistic but you have to cut the wires and I did mention in the RG review the wire is really easy to pop out so you know just Take a look at it, and also the leg scale is different. So as you can see, uh, this is smaller, and this one is larger because it's wider. It's wider actually. It's not larger, and you can see some part of the back legs. But for the XG version, you just don't really see the back of the legs, and you know for the thrusters as well. Let's compare the let's compare the leg thruster. So the legs thruster, uh, if I turn it to the side like this, so as you can see, two of them is. A completely different shape and also and also the thrusters of XG is bigger for I, I mean the legs thruster is bigger and the uh, RG version is smaller same as the shoulder XG version is bigger but the RG version is smaller alright that's pretty much the comparison of the whole thing just in case if you want to know what's the difference between RG and XG if you like a muscular and more original you can buy RG if you like simple and slim just by an XG okay so this is the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more gunplay reviews i honestly need to say though if you ask me i like the rg version of the xg version better i will just answer you i like the xg version better i know the rg version got more movement and the weapons are better but seriously the hand option on rg is poor it's it's just poor and I like the XG version better because you know the hands option is better than RG <laughs> let's just be honest with that but you know for movement design or overall feeling I like the RG better but I'm just saying for the hand option and the for you know if you got like this here's here is my rule if I bought a Gunpla I will make sure it's functional and is actually posable R, you know, I know, I understand. I'm not very good at posing, but you know, since the RG Mark II didn't give you a hand for holding a beam saber, or you can, or it got an extra handle, but you can't hold on it. So that's why I don't really like the hand option on the RG. But overall, I like the RG better. But the XG version just, you know, similar. No, I mean simpler, and actually got a better hand option. So you know, uh, I would just say if, if you want, if you want them both, just Buy one RG, uh, buy one RG and buy one XG. Since you got two color of the Mark II anyway, so okay. Well, I'm gonna see you next time in another review. Goodbye.